welcome to Teaching Tuesday. My name is James Hutchison. I am your Director of Instruction and we're out on hole 16 today. Uh, so I wanted to talk to you about what I call golf math. So basically that's just a way of adjusting our yardages based on the conditions we find ourselves in. So there's kind of three big things we want to factor in when we're figuring out how far we need to hit a shot in addition to the obvious actual yardage to the hole. Okay, so we want to make sure we're checking the lie because the lie is going to affect how far that golf ball is going to go. We want to factor in the wind and we want to factor in any change of elevation. So uphill or downhill to the target. Uh, so on 16 here, we've got a couple of things to think about. I've got 120 yards to the flag. However, I've got a pretty bad lie in the rough. So I'm going to add, just based on my experience, I'm going to add an extra five yards because I know this ball is going to come out slower based on how it's sitting in the rough with grass behind. Okay, so now my 120 turns to 125. But then the other thing I need to think about is I've got a little bit of a helping wind. So now I can take that 125 and notch it down probably two or three yards. Uh, to maybe 122, 123. Um, and then, you know what, it's pretty humid out here today too. It was also just raining. So there's a lot of humidity in the air. So I'm gonna actually add an extra yard for that. So my 120 actual yardage becomes an adjusted yardage of about 124, okay? So I've got my 130 club. Um, I'm gonna try to hit that a little light and try to carry it 124. And that should get me pretty close to this front pin on 16 here. Golf math. <laughs> 